Welcome to the Philly Sports Dish. We are back for another week. We had the Eagles home opener. I was there, a little sun roasted, but let's kick things off. I'm the one and only big game dame. I'm here with my main man, do, and let's get right to it. The Eagles took their first hell of the season. Your first impression. <clears throat> I'm okay. Growing pains. You know, this is going to happen. Um, give San Francisco credit. Um, I think Shanahan did a great job of making adjustments. Um, I think San Francisco might be one of the best teams at playing complementary football. And they they showed um, they showed us what that was. You know, they the Eagles was doing a good job of getting pressure early on, uh, disrupting their run game. And then Shanahan went to the pitches, which totally threw the Eagles off from the, the way that they were uh, attacking the guards. Give Shanahan so much credit for that. It opened everything up. Look, this is to be expected. They were in the game. They never quit. They made mistakes. But this is what's going to happen. Everybody's new. You know, mm -hmm. so everybody's feeling a way. Everybody's trying to find a way. So I wasn't discouraged at all. And let me ask you this. Am I wrong for leaving that game feeling better about the team going into the long run than I felt during the Atlanta game? The Atlanta game for me felt like a game where everything went right. Game plan went right. Everyone was in a perfect groove. But just watching that game, a lot of the Eagles' mistakes were just lack of experience. Mm -hmm. um, Hurts made all the right decisions with the ball. It was the fact that he didn't get the ball there certain times. Um, the offensive line played well until Brooks got hurt. The defensive line, defense played well until um, Brandon Graham got hurt. Like everything, watching that game closely, it was all mistakes of a team that was green, a team that was playing a more established franchise in the 49ers at this point, a more experienced coaching staff. And last year, the Eagles were losing because they were just not the better team. They were getting their butts kicked. Mm -hmm. This game was because, all right, this is a young team that's learning. And you know what? That got me cautiously optimistic that they hung in there with a team like San Francisco. Actually got up on them. Um, I, I would agree with, with, with your assessment. And hopefully what they take out of this is we can play with teams in the NFL. We, we, we can compete with anybody. Like, I get what you're saying. That Atlanta game, they might have thought, you know, man, it might not be that good. We don't want to get too full of ourselves. But, yeah, after this game, when you're trying to build something, the the, the one thing that you want to do is give your team confidence. And I think that they should have confidence after this game. I, I think that they should be upset. Like, yo, we could have won this game. Yeah. Like, as you said, if we didn't make these mistakes, you know, th this game was there for the taking. So if they can take that away from it and just have confidence and know, hey, we, we could compete in this league, and we could yeah. play. Malata with the offsides, mm -hmm. um, and they were blitzing his side a lot yesterday. Oh, he held his own. He, he held, held his, his own. own. They, were, they were coming after him. The talented defense was coming after him. A couple of the throws that Hurts made where it's just ball placement. Mm -hmm. Ball placement where it's like, okay, kid, if you, you can literally watch that film and say, all right, when this situation, you know, he made the right decisions with the ball, um, threaded the needle a couple of times. It's just, you know. San Francisco just kind of wore them down. Just like you said, the coaching staff in that sense, the injuries yeah. kicked in. <clears throat> Look, San Francisco, that was a professional victory. That was this. They came out. They took the Eagles punch. They they know how to play the game. They're, they're where we're trying to go, where you can just show up. If you're playing an inferior team, you don't make the big mistakes. You weather the storm, and then you put them away. That was a professional victory by the 49ers. You tip your cap to them. And as you said, hopefully you'll learn. But just speaking about players, you know what? I'm done with Barnett. Oh, I'm done with, yeah, thank you, because I was going to get to that I, I, as well. I'm done yes. with Barnett. Like, it, this guy just makes the most boneheaded plays. But, but not even that. Look, time out. Not even that. Okay. And, you know, this isn't the type of show where we come at players like that. But BG is hurt. It's obvious it's his Achilles. He's done for the year. Mm -hmm. Those guys, you knew it instantly. You knew it instantly. Those guys knew that. They need every, you know, the next man up. That's the mentality. You know, we've heard that in the past. Said from Brandon Graham in particular. Next man up. Barnett is up. And what does he do? Goes into business for himself. Same old stupid penalties. It's like, dude, you're supposed to be in there. You're supposed to be a major contributor on this team. And it's like he just does his own thing. He just does his own thing. He's on an island to himself. You know, this is an opportunity for the coach to, you know, for lack of a better term, make an example here because you can't 
when you're green and when you're trying to establish yourself, you can't do things to beat yourself, you know, and who knows if he doesn't commit that penalty, they may get the ball back and actually have a, a legitimate opportunity to win the yes. game. So, I mean, and the thing that's most disappointing about it is he's one of your veteran players. He's yeah, been here point. long enough to where, you know, you don't give him a mulligan. You don't say, listen, you got to be, but he knows. And, and he's made this mistake before. That's what is infuriating about it. And then where they drafted him, I think they picked him 13th. Mm -hmm. He's just like, he's he's regular. You know, let me ask you this. This, this is a side note. You don't really got to answer this, but you think that because the other defensive end got paid, that might have played into it a little bit where, where he's at now? I just think that's just where he is. Okay. I, I just think, like, you, you've seen he always does this. The same way when Al Harris played here, Al Harris, you knew he was getting a pass interference. You know Barnett is getting a stupid penalty the more he plays because he's just, he's, um, he's Sue without Sue's talent. You know, <laughs> like that's what he is. Like, and it's like, dude, what are you doing? Why are you on this island to yourself? BG just got hurt and get well, Brandon Graham. We love you. And it's like, well, I just don't see it with Barnett. I don't see it. This is his next year. He'll be a free agent. We got all those draft picks coming up. I say, you know what? Bon voyage. Happy Charles. Yeah. I mean, hopefully before the season's out, he gets an opportunity to atone for this and make a big play. I'm, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. And I'm going to say, you know, He'll, he'll make a big play down the line to atone for this. But he you just let's go simply by the eye test. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's going to play now, so you know you gotta you gotta hope right, that you so, know. I mean, being though it was a contract year, that he steps yeah. it up. All right. Well, we'll get ready for forty-five <laughs> yards and penalties each week. So, uh, any closing thoughts, Dallas? Next week, Monday night. Um, looking forward to it. You know, Dallas week is always yeah. good here, especially when both teams are good. Um, I'm hoping that um, that Sirianni, you know, looks at the film and evaluates himself honestly. Yeah, I think he got a little cute in spots. Um, yeah, I think um, I was surprised that they didn't really attack the middle of the field more than they did. I understood that the 49ers were weak at the corners and we're going to take our shots. Um, but I was just surprised that the tight ends wasn't the tight ends and backs weren't involved a little bit more. Yeah, and yeah, Ertz like one catch. Yeah, Goddard, Goddard. I think had four. It's Miles Sanders, I think only had one. Gainwell may have had one. I just yeah. I just thought like you know, it was um, they were being a little greedy. Yeah, you know, it was like you know, it's, it's okay to to nibble or take a little small bite. I just thought like it was just. All or nothing. Yeah, and then if you, the 49ers were playing a very soft zone, and then they would blitz. <laughs> so it's just like, okay, they were making Hurt, Hurts decide. You know, they knew the Eagles wanted to go to the outside. Yeah, but, so, yeah, but like I said, growing pains, as you said earlier, I'm, I'm encouraged by what I saw. And just like we said last week, I want some more. So I'm, I'm, I'm all in. Cowboys week, and just like the previous two games, it's a winnable game. I think before the season started, I don't know if we'd have been saying the first three games are winnable, but here we go with another winnable game. Okay. So let's talk about really quick, just specifically your overall evaluation. Let's, and we're going to probably do this every week. Quarterback, let's give them a grade. Quarterback and coaching staff. Quarterback, um, let's say B minus C plus. Um, Unlike you, I, I did think I did thought he missed a couple of throws. I know it was a deep shot to uh to Smith. I thought he missed. Um and watching the the, the coach's film, he he missed the uh Goddard on a, a sweet play uh in the middle of the game. So he wasn't as sharp, but he still played well. He played well enough to win a game and ultimately that's what you want, even if he's not firing all cylinders where, you know, you're still in the game late fourth quarter. Yeah, so, stayed under control. You know, um, I think San Francisco put some things on film that they now have to work on. But overall, I, I thought it was an average to just slightly above average game. for yeah. sure. And how about the coaching staff? Um, the coaching staff, I'm going to say maybe C minus. I think um, I'm not going to say Shanahan got the better of them or exposed them. I think Shanahan just you know took advantage. Like Shanahan, you know, this is a green coach, and Shanahan's been around the block. Um, I think Sirianni would like to have like to have some plays back. That oh, that goal, goal line, line plays, stuff huh? was um, questionable. You know, scratching your head on that. Um, and we speak about this young team where you know you get a rager. You got to stay in balance. 
Quez Watkins, you make that big play is more than speed. You got you, you, you got to take that to the house. Mm -hmm. You know, it's one on one with the safety. Once you beat the cornerback, you got you got to take that to the house. Yeah, and that's where um, inexperience factors. In. Yeah, so the, and that's why you, you're not discouraged. But overall, I think the coach and quarterback will say that they they left a lot of plays on the field. They they um they could have been better. Yeah, I think the team left a, a lot of plays on the field, and it comes back to that where we said just to be patient with this team. Yes. Just to be patient. Um, and I think even leaving the stadium yesterday, you know, usually it's like when the Eagles lose, it's like this, it's almost like a funeral. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going to be a bad week. And it's like, yeah, uh, but I, did, I didn't feel that energy when I left the stadium yesterday. I think, you know, Eagles fans are smart. Eagles fans get it. They wanted the team to win. You know, I think more people were down about BG getting hurt. Yeah. You know, one lady. She's a sweetheart. She, her and her son, she was cursing her tail off. Like, we all went down and we were watching the last couple minutes and she's just like bleep, bleep, bleep. And we don't got BG. And that Barnett yeah. gets the penalty and she goes nuts on that too. So, you know, you got to love, you got to love this town. And, and like you said, like we said before the season started, you know, we just hope as minimum amount of injuries as possible because, you know, the, the depth isn't there. But if they can stay healthy, they've shown that. They can be a competitive football yeah. team. And even with Brandon Graham getting hurt, we know this isn't a Super Bowl year. You know, Correct. this is a rebuild. This, it's time for young players to come in because that's what was going to have to happen anyway. Yes. You know, so now's your time. You're going to get the rest of the season to show what you can do. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious and I'm, I'm very intrigued at this team. Um, see how they're going to move forward. And there's talent. There's talent here. Yeah. And and I think as we both said, the best compliment you can give them is you want to see more. Like like we're intrigued, you're optimistic, all those things. Like I said, everything they've done so far, I think has been correct. And games like Sunday are going to happen. It's going to be more than a line because as you said, they're inexperienced. So it's just like, you know, you're going, this is your first rodeo. So I'm expecting mistakes, but I want to see how they respond to it. And they never quit. They played it to the end. And that was great. That was good enough for me. Yeah, and I'll, I'll say this for the Eagles fans who are down because your team lost. Um, I heard a lot of people in the stadium in particular before the kickoff were like, oh, well, the Falcons were 4-11. and 11. And I kept telling them, the Eagles were 4-11 and 11 yeah, last year. Yeah. Like, what part do you not understand? Stop looking at everything from a Philadelphia guys. Look at what the Saints did to the Packers, and then they lose mm -hmm. Carolina. Like, this is the beginning of the year. Things ebb and flow. It's a young team that's learning. They're going to take their bumps. Yeah, they're going to take their, this, the next part of their schedule. They're going to take their bumps. Yeah, yeah. And, like, and what I would say, even with the Atlanta scenario, hey, Atlanta was down three in the fourth quarter with the ball to the world champions this past Sunday. Yeah. You know, so, you know, they, they are a good team. And the question is, you know, you just can't try to skip steps. You can't say, you know, don't go all in. You know, let's stay within ourselves. We're evaluating and let's just see what happens. All right. Yeah. So let's actually close this week out with mm -hmm. talking about just any observations you have from the world of sports. My Philadelphia Phillies. Right, here we go. See, I wasn't going to bring them up. See how I left they it open to you. Are I'm not still them up. alive. Listen, I, I, they're like, alive the way Dracula question. is alive. If you if if the doctor says we're taking them off the machine and they don't pass within the first hour, it's a miracle, right? It's a miracle, right? <laughs> it's a miracle. <laughs> that is, they didn't pass because, like my mom would say, God don't like ugly. Hey, That's listen, why they didn't pass. I don't know why they're, they're still lingering. Here. So they're I here, do. I they're know here why. for a reason. I know. Yeah. I know why they're here. Yeah, they're here for a reason. Listen, they they they're closer this week than they were last week when we when we talked. They still got three games in Atlanta <sighs> next week. Oh my God! Seven games against two of the worst teams. And look, five and two. I'm not saying seven and no six and one. Five and two. Oh my Five gosh. and two. Oh my Listen, gosh. I'm using all my time on the world of sports to say Bryce Harper, MVP, bullpen. I don't believe in you, but I believe in you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I am watching Orioles tonight. Let's go. 
All right. All I got to do when <laughs> when the show's over, I'm selling you Amway. I'm uh, selling you uh, 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 <laughs> some other ones. I'm selling you RCN. I got a couple of. I got a bridge that you could buy in Brooklyn. Uh, and the Amway is going to come out with a vaccine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no vaccine happening there. I got some protein shakes I, I can sell you as well. Dude. All right, listen. A little Mary Kay action for you because it is not. It's. Red October. Red October. Fool's gold. <laughs> Fool's gold. The color in Philadelphia when it comes to baseball is gold. Fool's gold. It's imitation brand. It's going to turn your skin green. Do not believe it. Don't buy it. Don't waste your time. Oh, man. You're going to watch, and this is what's going to happen. The bullpen's going to give up three runs late. Listen, I'm in. Until they're, listen, until they're mathematically eliminated, I'm in. I'm it's, seeing it. I'm like, seeing it to the end. It's like watching <laughs> something lingering and dying a slow death because it just keeps crawling back. It's like a zombie. It's like watching a zombie no, twitch around. No, look at it like it's like watching a magician. Like you don't know how they're doing it, <laughs> but it's so intriguing. It's like yo, how, how are they doing this? Like it they're doesn't magicians. Make any sense. They're, they're, it's like a magician. You know, I'm looking at this team. <laughs> I'm looking at this team as the oh. They ain't going to pay a luxury tax. They have so much on their salary. It's the same freaking team every year. The only reason they're even in this thing is because everyone else is still bad. If they were in the American League, we wouldn't be having this conversation See, right now. You know, you know what you're doing? Classic of you're seeing what's wrong and not what's right. Stop, stop worrying about Look, We all know the warts and all the things that they aren't. But they're two games out. Yes, right. That's their two games out. Oh, my gosh. Oh and my I'm in. I'm in. Oh my gosh. Tall. Let's go. Bryce <laughs> yeah. Harper MVP, baby. Yeah. They're, not even, they're, they're not even the tallest little person in the circus. Uh, yeah. They're see. not. They're like they're like in between. And you're like, yeah, let's go. Yeah. Once again, little, little, you're scrumpy, thinking little scrumpy Bell. can win it. Yeah, it's not thinking Barnum Barnum Bell. Bell. I'm thinking Barnum Because this is a circus. It's a startup circus, and I got my money's worth. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm thinking I, got, <laughs> I, do, I do an old reference every yeah. week, so look this one up. I'm uh -oh. thinking of Gunther Gable Williams dumped itself in gravy and then tried to tame the lions. No, I went outside. That's what you got with the Phillies. And some 10-year-old kid just did five straight somersaults, and I was just like, this kid's good. This kid's going places. And and then the lion ate him. Hey, <laughs> One of Gunther no. Gabriel Williams' lions ate him. It's no. a waste of time. No, no. <laughs> the poor Listen. kid's got missing a limb now, no. like lingering around. I'm talking to that kid's parents, like, look, get that kid into gymnastics or something. Man. Hey, let's go. No. And you guys do realize the circus closed down. It is no more. <laughs> Gunther Gabriel Williams is out of a job. So just like the Phillies, they're done. The circus is done as well. I'm wearing circus my is out head. of town. Next week, I'm wearing my Phillies hat. <laughs> well, I won't be. I won't be. Maybe next year. Um, but it's the same team. Why do you do this to yourself? It's the same team. It's literally the same. This is a bad relationship. He's in a he's in a bad relationship with this team. Oh, yes, you are. You're in a bad relationship. I don't know. Like we're gonna have an intervention later on for him. All right, <laughs> that might be our next show. An intervention. <laughs> all right. Well, on that lovely note. Shout out to Gunther Gabriel Williams. Look, Google him. And on that note, it is time to go. All right. So we will see you next week. Cowboys, Eagles. We're going to do a little special Eagles, Cowboys preview before we actually analyze the game. So this is a big one, folks. Um, Dallas sucks, by the way. So till next week, my man, dude. I'm the one and only big game dame. Go, birds. <laughs>